and hi again to the uh, show. It's called Beautiful Monsters. It's a new show being performed at the National Gallery of Canada, and it's happening Saturday, January 25th. Let's find out more right now. We say hello to Olivier Ancheri, who's with the Ottawa Bro Consort. Hello, hello. sir. How are you? You've got I'm your very beautiful well. cello with you as yes, well. Yes, that's right. Going to be playing coming up in moments. And David Brennan is here as well. How are Hi. you, David? I'm well, thanks. Thanks for having us. Good to have you here. Now, uh, Olivier, so you're the founder of this orchestra. Yes, I am. Uh, how far back uh, does the, the orchestra date? Well, we've been around for 15 years, hmm. initially as a quartet, a small ensemble. Okay. And the interest uh, from the musicians in the community was so big that about seven years ago, we increased it to an orchestra size. Wow. So, so how many people are we talking here? Uh, it depends on the project, but uh, for this show, we'll have about 15 people. 15 people, okay. And we'll talk about the show details coming up in moments. But David, so you're actually a comedian. I am. Okay. Yeah. Originally from Hamilton, but now you're here in Ottawa. So, so what is your role then in an, in an orchestra if you're a comedian? I am the guest member of the consort, so I'm the storyteller for the show. Okay. Yeah. So, so how did you become a part of this? I was performing at a show with the Ottawa Storytellers at the Arts Court, mm -hmm. and at the intermission, the consort approached me with all this talk about galleries and monsters, and I thought they were very strange people. <laughs> I, I went right back to the bar, and no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I thought it sounded like an amazing project. I'm very, very lucky to be a, a part of this show. Okay, so what does it mean to be a storyteller for you then? Yeah, so uh, for this show particularly, I'm going to be bringing the myths and the monsters to life. So the, the paintings and the artwork in the gallery exhibition. Yeah. Uh, so we've written the stories uh, all together, and uh, I'll be performing them That's larger fun. than life. Nice. And yeah. Sample coming up in moments as well, which is really cool. So, Olivia, then tell us about this show. First of all, why Beautiful Monsters? Why is it called that? Well, we like at the concert uh, to, to bring in different art forms to uh, accompany the music. Uh, and we especially like to tell stories. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were uh, discussing with the gallery uh, what we could do to, uh, to collaborate and, and bring in arts, uh, visual arts and music. Mm -hmm. And they approached us over the summer and said, hey, we got this really cool exhibition coming up on monsters. Yeah. Uh, what could you do with it? And uh, we went to the drawing board, uh, we put a plan together and said, hey, this is it. We're going to do a show with storytelling, fine arts and music. That is something. And is, are you excited to be performing at the National Gallery of Canada? That's pretty, pretty classic oh, spot. It's a, beautiful, it's a beautiful venue. Um, we're going to have a beautiful stage. The orchestra will be uh, in front of a, a projector screen and we'll be projecting a lot of uh, um, pictures and uh, drawings from the exhibition itself. Okay. Can I ask you about the instruments that are being used? So they're, they're called period instruments? Yeah, they're period instruments. So we, uh, we perform Baroque music uh, in the hip style. Hip meaning historically informed performance. Okay. And we, first of all, we use period instruments, instruments that are uh, from the period. So this cello, for example, mm -hmm. uh, was created, was made in 1725. Wow. And uh, everybody in the orchestra will play similar instruments or exact copies, replicas of historical instruments. That is very cool. Of course, tickets are available at ottawabroke.ca, but David, what is that you have in your pocket there? Whoa, two tickets for the show. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, you can email info at ottawabroke.ca, but you have to have the word monsters in the subject or you're not even gonna look at that email, right? Okay. <laughs> so if you're watching right now, uh, enter indeed. Uh, Olivia, how can people become part of your orchestra? Well, we, we're always uh, welcoming uh, people who are interested in pre uh, playing Baroque music. So um, we, uh, they can send us an email, call us, and we'll be happy to, um, to hear them play their instrument. We, we always need violins, uh, violas, cellos, basses. Uh, we also have the harpsichord. Harpsichord is a uh, staple of Baroque music, and uh, we're going to be increasing in the next few years with wind instruments as well. Wind instruments. Yeah. Wind instruments are violin... Uh, clarinet, um, ah, oh, flute, bassoon. I was totally off on that. I didn't <laughs> take music in high school at all. Okay, this is super fun. As I mentioned, Saturday, January 25th. That's uh, this weekend, 2 p.m. matinee. You must note that. Uh, you guys are going to perform right now. So, David, can you tell us exactly what we're going to see? Sure. This is a little portion of the drunken sea captain's warning of the sea. Very interesting. Get your all tickets right. right now. OttawaBaroque.ca. This is Olivier and David on Daytime Ottawa. <clears throat> Oh, I seen them sea serpents with poisonous scales that slither beneath the waves. I seen them grab men, paralyze them, drag them down to the depths and feast on their flesh. The water turned black with blood. One time, on a ship like this, we were attacked by flying fish, a whole swarm with razor-sharp teeth. They sprung across the deck, chomping and biting everything in sight. I ducked down. I was lucky. 
for the other crew lost ears and noses and chins, blood pouring down from their face to the shins, and crawling on the ground begging, please, is that my nose? No, it's yours. Is that my ear? Give it here. Uh, it was a terrible mess. <laughs>